There's nothing more frustrating than spending time checking a suspect's sensor on a car and winding up with inconclusive results. And with today's vehicles, this is becoming an everyday problem, not because the sensors are that different, but because today's onboard computers monitor sensors faster than ever before. For example, the Ford Eek 4 computer introduced in the 80s typically performs about 625 calculations per second, while Ford Eek 5 OBD2 computers perform 1.2 million calculations per second. Now that is a 2,000% increase in computer speed. As a result, faster and even smaller glitches can affect vehicle operation, and DMMs just aren't fast enough to find these glitches. That's why Snap-on's introduced the Vantage Power Graphing Meter with its powerful glitch capture ability. Now, let's go back to that crank sensor our friend wanted to test earlier and see how the Vantage Power Graphing Meter could have helped him. The diagnostic database built into the Vantage Power Graphing Meter could have saved our friend a lot of time figuring out how to test the crank sensor on his car. With the Vantage Meter, there's no need to search through a library of shop manuals. Using the same simple point-and-click operation as the Snap-on scanner, you simply select the vehicle manufacturer, the type of fuel control system, component tests, the component you want to test, and for this car, the engine size. The Vantage meter then automatically configures itself, presets the screen, and is ready to test the component you've selected. The Vantage covers most components and sensors you can think of on 1981 and later domestic vehicles, nine Asian import car lines, and four European car lines, including BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, and Volkswagen. How's that for complete coverage? Now, let's see what the Vantage meter tells us about testing this crank sensor. Select tests from the preset menu and we see a list of the different tests available for this sensor. Since the vehicle will start, we'll skip the key on engine cranking test and select frequency test. Vantage tells us how to connect the test leads and also gives other information that will save time. In this case, a note tells us that the crank sensor is difficult to get to and that it's probably easier to test the crank signal at the ignition control module. We press Y to get to the ICM connector screen and Vantage displays a drawing of the connector, along with all the pinout information we need. In this case, Vantage told us to connect the red test lead to pin F and the black lead to a known good ground. And thanks to the tip on an alternative test hookup, it saved us a lot of time and grief. And you won't find that tip in any shop manual. Now, let's see how the Vantage test capability compares to the typical DMM our friend was using earlier. The DMM shows some variation in the crank frequency signal, but it's hard to tell if the variation is caused by a problem with the sensor or if it's simply a variation in engine RPM caused by the misfire. Looking at the Vantage meter in the histograph mode is much more revealing. Not only do we see the variations in engine RPM, but we also see a dropout occurring that indicates a faulty crank sensor. With the right scan tool and a digital meter, most veteran techs can fix a no-start problem, hard or soft codes, and even a consistent hesitation problem. But what about problems like intermittent hard starts, intermittent stalls, intermittent runs rough, or even problems like the one we just saw? This is where even the best techs run into difficulty. Today's onboard computers monitor signals faster than ever before. As a result, smaller and faster glitches can affect vehicle operation. In 1980, a 500 millisecond glitch may not have affected drivability at all. Today, a 500 microsecond glitch can affect drivability. That's 500 millionths of a second. DMMs just aren't fast enough anymore, and even lab scopes have a tough time displaying glitches. The sooner a technician can diagnose an intermittent vehicle problem, the sooner the tech can move on to the next job. That's why technicians that specializing in diagnosing problems command higher wages. Now, let's take a look at another common vehicle problem and the diagnostic advantage 
the Vantage Power Graphing Meter gives you. We've all seen good TPS signals demonstrated hundreds of times, but what about a bad TPS? Let's see how the Vantage Power Graphing Meter compares to our typical DMM on this car with a bad TPS. As we can see, the TPS sweep is from about a half a volt to about 4.5 volts. Let's try it a couple of times to see if it changes. Based on the DMM readings, this TPS seems okay. Now let's see what the Vantage tells us. Unlike the constantly changing digital readings on a DMM, the Vantage histograph accurately plots the activity of the sensor. You can see the voltage rise and fall. And you can also see that there is actually a glitch occurring. So how did the Vantage capture that TPS dropout that our DMM couldn't? Well, just like the vehicle onboard computers, DMMs have signal sample rates too. And their sample rates just aren't fast enough to catch everything. Plus, their display update rates are slower than their sample rates, so even if they do sample a glitch, unless it's in sync with the display update, the DMM will never show it. Of course, the min-max feature available on many DMMs helps some, but unless a glitch drops below the previous min or spikes above the expected max, you'll never see it. Unlike the DMM, the Vantage is continuously sampling the signal and updating the display with min-max values. In fact, the Vantage displays 100 min-max readings on a single histograph screen and will reliably capture glitches as small as 300 microseconds. How's that for power graphing? And that's only a glimpse of the diagnostic advantage the Vantage power graphing meter gives you. In addition to its powerful glitch capturing capability and its extensive vehicle and component coverage, Vantage also has movie review and cursor scroll capability. In the histograph mode, Vantage continuously saves 20 screens in the background. The movie review feature lets you scroll from screen to screen and cursor review lets you pinpoint exact readings at any point on the histograph. You can also store up to five screens in memory for later review downloading to a PC, or printing for a customer work order. Vantage also can display two different meter readings at the same time. This is great for displaying dual O2 sensor readings, or simultaneously looking at injector and O2 readings, manifold airflow and TPS, or EGR control solenoids and EGR position sensors, just to name a few. Plus, the Vantage can read frequency, duty cycle, pulse width, current, resistance, and volts AC and DC, as well as diode continuity and secondary RPM. And with the optional transducers, Vantage can even display vacuum and pressure readings like fuel pressure, transmission shift pressure, AC high side and low side pressure, manifold pressure, and even manifold vacuum. After you've selected the component you want to test, you can switch to the full screen display mode. The Vantage also has a powerful feature called signature tests that allows you to look at the waveform signature of the signal and compare it to a known good waveform for the component selected. You can also view readings in the digital mode, including min-max values. And the Vantage can always be used without component tests as a standalone digital multimeter in the digital mode or the histograph mode. I'm sure many of you have already been considering stepping up from a digital multimeter. Some of you have even been considering a lab scope or DSO. Before you spend your hard-earned cash on a tool that might not meet your needs, Ask your Snap-on representative for a full demonstration of the Vantage Meter so you can experience right in your own shop the diagnostic advantage the Vantage Power Graphing Meter will give you. Extensive vehicle and component coverage, including domestics, Asian imports, and European car lines. An on-screen library of vehicle and component-specific information, including component diagrams, as well as helpful tips to save you hookup time super sensitive glitch capture ability 
and the same simple point-and-click operation as the snap-on scanner. 